let me tell you something, okay? For a living, to pay my bills, I run an anime convention, okay? Get out of my face. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm a big boob, a cat girl on the internet, and I run an anime convention for the living. Like, what do I have to prove to you other than the fact that I'm weird and the and I've already proven it by those two statements alone? I'm gonna be honest. Like, <laughs> like just get away from me. <laughs> like, but yeah, don't don't come across pretentious or like you have to prove yourself to me. No, just be like, oh, cool. Hello, YouTube. This is Chelsea the Destroyer. Today we're going to watch some more Shoe on Head. We're going to watch Female Loneliness and How to Fix It. Um, if you like my content, oops, if you like my content, uh, please do algorithmic interaction with me. Grab your snackies, grab your bevies. Today I got some popcorn and a Coke. And let's get to watching. Oh, I forgot I had this up. Hold on. Uh, uh, take that away. Okay. Ah, women. Despite popular belief on Reddit, I love women. And despite popular belief on 4chan, I am a woman. And as I said, <laughs> it is currently... I am women. <laughs> Same though. International Women's Day. So happy inter... It's quiet. I turn it up. National Women's Day to all 7.3 of you. <laughs> We've talked quite a bit about male loneliness on this channel, but we haven't really touched on female loneliness. Is it still low? I turned it up. Like, it's turned up, like, as high as it can go. Loneliness, which although technically not as that severe bad? yet, is unfortunately a real and rapidly growing trend. The modern world does not seem to have a solution to this. All modern dating advice is just... You don't see any evidence from me? I can try harder, hold on. Does that work? <laughs> Garbage. The future seems bleak, so maybe we have to look in the past. In this video, we're gonna talk a bit about modern female loneliness, and then we're gonna have some fun looking at some dating advice from the 1950s. To Hell see yeah. If we can find a solution there, because what worked for our grandmothers surely will work for us, right? Back in the day when people would still go to malt shops and diners instead of femboy hooters. <laughs> dated men for more than just their wallets. I also go to diners. I love diners. Little diners, diners are tasty. Waffle House is a diner, technically. Waffle House is tasty. Which reminds me, before we get into this video, let's quickly get into today's sponsor. Also, does Fanboy Hooters have like the same type of wings as regular Hooters? I'm just asking for reasons that I want to know. It's a good question. Sponsor, Ridge Wallet. <laughs> Ridge wallets are high quality, minimalist wallets that can hold up to 12 cards and all that cash you don't have. <coughs> anyway. And thank you, the viewer, for not skipping the ad. I skipped it. I'm sorry. I coughed and it just went up. It just, it just, I don't know. I don't know what happened. It was crazy. Anyway. The number of single women in the US. If you want to support Shoe on Head, go to her channel, Ridge Wallet. I don't know what the thing is. What, uh, yeah. Is expected to increase 1.2% every year from 2008 to yeah so she probably um she doesn't she probably films the ads separately to her, the rest of her video so she looks different a lot of youtube not vtubers oh my god a lot of youtubers do that where they um they film ads separately so they often look different and they just kind of edit it into the video so if I could have anyone sponsor me, who would it be? Grapeco. What's up? <laughs> 2030 compared to a 0.8% in I'm just saying, I have convinced many people to try Grapeco. Grapeco, please. Okay, please. All right. Increase in the overall population. This will result in 45% of women between the ages of 25 and 44 who will be single and childless by 2030. Now, according to some people, this is apparently a good thing. More women being single and childless is a good thing. Society is progressing. Women no longer. I am very aware that Grapeco does not have the money to pay me anything. They can pay me by giving me 
some Grafico. They could they could send me a a twenty four pack of cans or something <laughs> or the bottles. I don't care. Have to be chained up and turned into breeding cows. I'm sorry. What? Perfect. Sorry. What? Child. Let's now, go back. According to some people, this is apparently a good thing. More women being single and childless is a good thing. Society is progressing. Women no longer have to be chained up and turned into breeding cows. 1984. Oh. Apparently, single women spend okay. more than the average family on travel, shopping, makeup, skincare, etc. So, of course, some economists I mean, yeah, will twist this into a positive thing but i'm not that's because like they're spending money on themselves and not like these kids right because like they don't have to they're spending less on like responsible food choices i say responsible because like they they have extra pocket money right so they can they can spend on themselves so they're they're still spending that money even if they have kids. They're just spending it on other things. They're not necessarily spending it on like makeup or clothing for themselves. I'm not an economist. I'm your average humble working class American YouTuber, slaving over a hot laptop, producing absolutely <laughs> nothing of value to society. And I don't think this is a good thing. I think this is proof things are going very wrong. And if you look at the stats about how so many women are on antidepressants and how the female suicide rate has been increasing, there may be a connection here. Friendship, family, and sexual intimacy are a big part of the hierarchy of needs. And I don't think women are happier being alone and single. I just think- There's also, so something like, based on that chart a little bit, something to, to mention, by the way, a lot of women on, are on birth control not to not get pregnant, they're doing it because they, their menstrual cycles are almost debilitating and they need to be able to have something that like stops their menstrual cycles from being so terrible because they're expected to still going to work, to school, to classes, to whatever. They're expected to still function normally while they're on it. Mine, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm sorry if you don't want to know this, are debilitating. Like they're pretty bad. Um, birth control fucks up your libido. Like, it just does. Like, it, not for everybody, but for a lot of people. Like, it, it's, like, it changes your hormones and stuff. So, like, it affects you. Like, it affects your libido and a bunch of other things. So, that's, like, another thing to consider. Like, if you're having issues wanting, like, you know, intercourse because your libido is just not there, that, it probably affects your dating life and stuff like that and then like you know there's hello emma thank you for the resubscription it makes the girl crazy yeah it like it can like um i was put on something and i was like i think i have pmdd which is something that like affects like my anxiety is really high now uh like my paranoia is worse like um pmdd can give you like suicidal um idolations and like a bunch of other things like it there's a lot of stuff going on right so i'm sure that doesn't help anything like it's pretty it's pretty rough out there the medications were on and that's just normal birth control that's not even like you know hey i have really bad depression which also fucks up similar things for you so it's just worse i really feel like there's probably we're we're in a society now that's more willing to talk about like mental health crises and like oh you have depression or whatever let's maybe put you on some medication for that or we believe that yeah you have that like we're more accepting for like therapy and you know psychologists and stuff like that so that might be why like getting put on something that affects the chemical balances of your brain definitely changes things for you. And a lot of times the side effect is like lower libido or just destroyed libido. You basically you are suddenly asexual, like, which is something else you have to like deal with. Like, it's not so clean cut of like, you're depressed. Here's this medic medicine that's going to make you not depressed. It fucks up 20 other things for you. It's, it's rough out here. So yeah. Women might be better at coping with being alone and single. At least for a little while. I just had like the craziest, saddest thought. Um, I'm in the stage of life where I'm watching all my friends get married and have babies. When you talk about the subject, a lot of yeah. men will point out that these women could easily get any man to sleep with. 
And I'm sure they know to that. Sleep with. But sex isn't the only thing people are looking for, as I said in the male loneliness video. It would be relatively easy for a lot of these incels to just get laid, hire a hooker, and it would take the average woman like five minutes to find a man to sleep with. Just walk the f outside. But casual sex isn't the solution to loneliness. It's a band-aid. It's a way to fill your void with cum. Trying oh to find someone to love, to marry, to have a family with nowadays, it is incredibly difficult for both genders in this climate today. You need like emotional like connection. Like you need someone that helps you emotionally. Like. Even with your friends, right? Like you probably have some sort of emotional connection in some way, shape, or form. So it's not just like, hey, I'm f I'm sexually frustrated or whatever. Like you can you can kind of fix that in one way or another. But you want to have a friendship or you want to have a connection with someone. You want to have someone you can talk to and relate to and all that kind of stuff. So... It is what it is. And it seems like nowadays the only acceptable way to do so is to swipe right. We live in an increasingly atomized, lonely society thanks to a nasty combination of social media, technology, hookup culture, lack of community, lack of friends, lack of purpose, lack of money, late stage capitalism, neoliberalism, yeah. and so many other things. And men are being told to, well, nothing. You're on your own. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. It's your fault. You built the world after all. And are increasingly turning to the few people who at least pretend to give a shit. Who just wind up selling them poison that ultimately hurts them in the end. Like hollow materialism, eternal one night stands, and <laughs> vasectomies. Yeah, in case you were wondering. Hold up, what did that say? Stands I missed it. And <laughs> The quickest path to becoming a high value man, do not get married, avoid family creation, vasectomy in your 20s. I've said it before, I will say it again, okay? Vasectomies and tubal ligations. You can still cause pregnancy after getting a vasectomy. Because eventually, it's there is a... Decent percentage chance that eventually your sperm will figure out a way around the blockage that was put in. And so suddenly you're not shooting blanks anymore, guys. So just be aware of that. And like it does take a little time, but it can still happen. Ladies, tubal ligations. Um, your tubes aren't connected to your ovaries. Your ovaries just kind of like cannonball out like an egg and the tubes like catch it and then they transport it. But your ovaries, if they're still there, are still shooting out eggs. And eventually the egg will figure out how to get into your uterus without a tube, okay? I'm just saying this is something to be aware of. Vasectomies. Yeah, in case you were wondering, that's what the red pill has been up to. Telling their audience to just forget marriage and neuter themselves. While women, in turn, are also being sold very similar poison. About how it's good to be single, it's empowering. You don't need no man. Get on the pill, sleep around, climb the corporate ladder, and don't worry, baby, we'll freeze your eggs for you. But is this good advice for women? Or have we girl bossed a little too close to the sun? <laughs> a study on date psychology recently revealed that 48% of men 26 to 40 years old have not approached women in the past year. And 60% of men aged 18 to 25 said they haven't. In the entire data set, 30% of men said they never approached a woman in person before. Ever. This Before? also might be because, like I said, everything that isn't swiping right on a dating app nowadays is considered creepy. Don't approach women yeah. at the bar. Don't approach women at the gym. Don't approach women at So that's a thing, but, like, so I run a convention, right? Technically, too. Um, the amount of people. So I said in, like, a past video, like, you got to go places um, to meet these people with similar interests as you. And, like, there was, like, this big thing of, like, oh, women don't, like, anime and games. Like, that's, they don't exist. And I'm, like, I'm right the fuck here. What are you talking about? Me and all my friends right here. But, like, they were, like, oh, I don't know. There's a bunch of pushback about that. And I'm, like, okay. The amount, the sheer amount of people that have come up to me when I'm, run when I'm at another convention that I do not run 
and I am pushing and I'm advertising my convention to people because that's that's the thing that conventions do. They go to other conventions, they advertise their conventions. Um, and like I will have like my booth set up and I'm talking to people, I'm handing out business cards and candy and stuff like that. And people will come up and be like, oh, my God, I love your convention. I met my significant other there. I have met my fiance there. I met, you know, my husband and or wife there, my life partner there. It's a thing. It does happen. Um, you do need to know how to approach people for it not to become like come across as creepy, though, because I've definitely been at a convention where someone has tried to hit on me and I'm like, bro, brother, mm, no, this is not this is not the way you are you're coming off like a creeper like this is mm. and like I know that's difficult because like how are you supposed to learn how to socialize in a way that is, doesn't come across kind of like off I'm gonna give you some hints um don't don't immediately pretend like you don't believe that the person you're talking to doesn't know anything about what they're dressed up as repping um say that they like like specifically i don't know i haven't really had women do this to me i have had some guys do this to me where they start quizzing you to prove that you're an actual fan don't do that shit first of all people can like something at a surface level like there's plenty of things that i like on a slightly surface level um like you know, Genshin Impact's really good. I have played, or really big, I should say. I've played, <sighs> what what land are we on? Two, six, a third, maybe, of the game? Maybe, at this point, because I don't know where it is. And I enjoy it when I play it, but it's just too one of those games that like, oh, you have to play every day. I'm not gonna play something every day. Like, sorry, I just don't have that drive. Um, so like, I like things on a surface level. I'm, you know, starting to watch One Piece. I'm on episode, what, 50, I think? Um, so if you just sit there and you try to grill me about shit in One Piece that happens after episode 50, I'm going to look at you like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like, bro, I'm on, like, episode 50. And, like, you make it, you're, you're not helping anybody. You're not helping yourself. You're not helping the community. You're not helping, like, the One Piece community. Like, dude, why are you, like, kind of turning people away from this thing because you, you feel like I have to prove something to you? First of all, I don't have to prove shit to you, okay? And second of all, this is always my thing. And most people can't do this, which is a little bit sad. But, like, me going, like, Hey, I'm a fan of this. It's like, oh, you're not a real fan. Let me tell you something, okay? For a living, to pay my bills, I run an anime convention, okay? Get out of my face. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm a big boob, a cat girl on the internet, and I run an anime convention for the living. Like, what do I have to prove to you other than the fact that I'm weird and the and I've already proven it by those two statements alone? I'm gonna be honest. Like, <laughs> like just get away from me. <laughs> like, but yeah, don't don't come across pretentious or like you have to prove yourself to me. No, just be like, oh, cool. What do you, and like? I'm not saying you can't ask questions like you could be like oh what do you like about this or oh you know I've had people come up like how do you feel like oh are you up to date with My Hero Academia I was at the time I am not currently and they're like how do you feel about the current arc or like you know how do you feel about this thing like you can you can ask them questions that's how you have a conversation but if your questions are basically prove to me that you're actually a fan get out of my face like the conversation's over I don't want to talk to you anymore like get away from me don't don't be like that. I don't. I I just did something. I have no idea what I did. I hit a button on accident. I've ruined my own life. Okay, I'll fix that in a minute. Sorry, I have a button on. I have a mouse with twelve buttons on the side. So I'm trying to catch up with chat. What are what are we talking about? <laughs> I wouldn't know if it's harder in other countries or not. Um, because I am also American. So, yeah, you're an anime fan. Name every anime. <laughs> name name five anime. That's a low bar, my dude. <laughs> or you know what? Dragon Ball. 
there there's five anime. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Kai, Dragon Ball Super. Any of the movies. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about though. Like they're they're like um prove it to me. I don't have to prove shit. What are you talking about? Let me see where I am. Hold on. Ah, women. Despite popular What ah, is happening? Why can't women. I go past Despite this part? Excuse me? She's not interested. Okay, yeah, I woman didn't see that before. before. Don't approach women at the bar. Don't approach women at the gym. Don't approach women at coffee shops. Don't approach women at work. Don't approach women at the mall. Don't approach women. We live in HR world. And it turns out a lot of women don't like HR world. Every time I see videos of women crying about not being approached by men or being lonely, the comments and replies are always full of men like, enjoy your cats. This is what you asked for. This is the world you wanted, ladies. But was it? Not every woman is the blue haired, man hating feminist stereotype that you have in your, your mind. A lot of them want the same exact world you do. What you have to understand is society in the media is basically like her fat, ugly, drunk friend at the bar cock blocking you from talking to her. Um, excuse me? She's not interested. Even though chances are, she might be. According to the same study on date psychology, 77% what, what, what is this background video? <laughs> This is what women look like when they're flirting. <laughs> Said every K drama I have ever watched. Of women aged 18 to 30 want to be approached more. Oh, hurt. So if men are lonely and women are lonely, but men are too afraid to approach women nowadays, there's only one thing we can do, ladies. We must approach them. So I did a little research and looked up how to approach men as a woman. <clears throat> Number one, don't. Almost every <laughs> single article, blog post, tweet thread, giving advice to women on how to get a man said some sh like, don't chase him, let him chase you. Be unavailable and mysterious. Simply pretend he doesn't exist. Great, awesome. Almost every single bit of dating advice I found amounted to let them come to us. But what if they're not coming to us? What do we do now? Well, according to the great philosophers of our time, Fresh and Fit and Andrew Tate, the problem is <coughs> the modern woman. Lazy, entitled, mid. These are the ingredients. I get it. But hey, ladies, it's okay. You can approach him first. It's okay. I mean, the worst thing he's gonna say... I say this. This is um, me coming up. I mean, I would like to say the worst thing that they're going to say is no, but, you know, sometimes people are cruel and stuff. But, like, hey, take it with grace no matter what they say to you. Because that's another thing that I have seen where, like, someone says, like, no, and then, like, the other person just starts, like, well, you aren't that hot anyway. Like, I was hot enough when you thought you had a chance, but all right. Um... But yeah, just take just take the no with grace. Just be like, okay, thank you for your time, and walk away. Just walk away. Don't give them anything, but walk away. That's it. And like, you know, having someone turn you down isn't necessarily, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. Like, I understand that there's like a lot of stress there, and like anxiety, and like, you know, you might feel bad about it. But it's okay, because maybe you're just not that person's cup of tea, you know? Everyone is somebody's cup of tea, so you're just not their specific flavor. And it's okay. Find someone else. You're someone else's cup of tea. Flavor of tea. Whatever. <laughs> and like, yeah, you know, sometimes they're already in a relationship and it's hard to tell like especially if it's not a woman that's engaged because like there's no way to tell if a guy is engaged they don't have engagement rings and you know sometimes women don't wear their engagement rings or you know there's there's some other symbolic thing that they do like they have an engagement necklace or something like that so like you know it's okay you you know if they're already in a relationship, how are you supposed to know? And it's okay. Just keep on keeping on. That create 
the modern woman. So clearly we have to go back. Back when a cheeseburger was five cents and women were lobotomized. That's right, we must return mm. to the 1950s. One of the most common ways to find a partner these days is by using dating apps and websites, but. I'm sorry. I just took a bite of Reese's, but I saw husband hunting. And my brain was like, get your gun. <laughs> Don't do that. Back in the 1950s, you had to get a little bit more creative. Here's an article from 1958 in McCall's magazine listed 129 ways for women to get a husband. Have your car break down in strategic places? This is giving me anxiety. Hold on. Attend night school, take courses men like. I mean, sure, learn a trade, man. Like, go ahead. Broaden your horizons and meet people. I mean, that's not even necessarily just, like, find a husband. Like, this is how you find friends. Like, legitimately. Um, Get a dog and walk it. Attend. Okay, join a hiking club. Hmm. Look in the census reports for places with the most single men. Nevada has 125 males for every 100 males. Just completely just get up and move. Just move. Read the obituaries to find eligible widowers? <laughs> My God! Be somebody's rebounds when their wives break. Jesus Christ. Die, whatever. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Yeah, hell, okay. Um, tranquilizers is... Please don't actually shoot your possible husband. Um, take up golf and go to different golf courses. Sure. Take several short... Also, golf is like a rich people sport. Is that just me? Are those just optics? I don't know. Take several short vacations at different places rather than one long one at one place. Okay. <laughs> Sit on a park bench and feed the pigeons. <laughs> Take a bicycle trip through Europe. I don't know if that's necessarily safe nowadays. I don't know if that was necessarily safe then. I mean, you can. I'm not saying you can't, but maybe don't go alone. Um... Get a job in a medical, dental, or law school. All three of those professions make a lot of money. <laughs> so I see where that's going. Um, become a nurse or an airline stewardess. They have very high marriage rates. They do meet a lot of people. I will, I will give them that. But they are also very high-demand jobs. They're kind of tough. Um, ask your friend's husbands who the eligible men are in their offices. I mean, yeah, I guess. And this list has gone viral so many times on the internet, and I have been sitting on this video idea for years. And what better time to talk? Where, what's the, where's the guide for introverts? Get, an, get you an extrovert friend. Wait around until an extrovert adopts you. And then just, just kind of don't fight them too hard when they invite you out, okay? Because they're going to take you places, all right? Like, 100%, okay, oh my god. Yeah, two bots. So, like, the, um, like, the, the extrovert that you're, that has adopted you as a friend is going to take you places, okay? So, just kind of let that happen, you'll meet new people. Because your extrovert friend's going to meet new people and you're going to be sitting right beside them. <laughs> Talk about this now. That all you bitches single as fuck. But don't worry. We are going to see if the red pill and schizophrenic Roman statue trad LARPer accounts on Twitter are correct. Did women in the 1950s have better dating advice than women today? Because apparently what we're doing today, crying on TikTok, is just not working for us. Okay, let's just let's just dive into this. Let's let's go. Number one, get a dog and walk it. Honestly, this is pretty good advice. This is fine advice. If you have a dog, you'll probably go to a dog park and meet other dog people. I could see this working. Just please, for the love of God, do not become a doggo mom. The amount of times I'm walking <laughs> through the city and I see a stroller and a fucking dog is in it. Just do not treat your dog like a surrogate child, please. I want. 
I want to get a stroller for my cats, but I don't want to be that person in my neighborhood. You feel me? Like, I would love to take my cats out for, like, a little walk. Because I like, I like to go walk outside. Especially kind of late at night. But I don't want my cats on, like, I don't want to put my cats on a harness. Because I'm worried there's, like, a dog that roams around without a leash. And, or, and like, I'm, I'm worried about my cats, right? So I was like, oh, you buy a little kitty stroller and stroll them around. But then I would be that person. And I don't want to be that person. So... My cats are safe inside. Keep keep your keep your kitties inside. It helps with the bird population. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. I wanna go on vacations and enjoy life. That's why I don't want kids. I have dogs anyway. Won't somebody please watch Mr. Poopsie while I'm gone? He has separation anxiety. Have your car break down at strategic places. Oh no, my brakes suddenly stopped working in front of the Bass Pro Shop. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what, what is the best place? What what is the best location? Like like she said the Bass Pro Shop. What is the best location to have your car accidentally break down? What is the best location for me to um unhook up my battery or whatever the fuck <laughs> fire station oh fire station hi abby fire station is probably pretty good <laughs> what, um, <laughs> where else are we thinking um <laughs> i think i think fire station is pretty legitimate uh, <laughs> a gym maybe Maybe. I don't know if I would want to stop at a CrossFit gym. Like, no offense to CrossFitters. Y'all seem a little intense. The middle of the interstate. Oh, my God. Um. <laughs> no, not the mechanic shop. <laughs> okay. Not right next to the... Tall rich man convention. <laughs> <Attend> <laughs> oh, oh. <coughs> 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 oh my god. Okay, so I don't know why, but tall rich man convention my brain automatically went what's a convention where people with money go to and for whatever reason i was like tattoo conventions because like tattoos are expensive okay and everyone that goes to a tattoo expense a convention has a bunch of tattoos on them and that shit's expensive so it's just like go to the, not in front of the local tattoo expo no <laughs> Listen, that was funny. Shut up. <laughs> Night school. Take courses men like. If you want to sign up for ancient Roman history class, be my guest. I personally would not. The the Brazilian wax salon. Those, you're gonna get like sorority looking chicks. I mean, if that's what you want, but they're not gonna be able to help you. They're just gonna call like AAA or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? They're not gonna help you with your car. Not go back to school for a man. No man is worth that. I still have nightmares no about man being in that. school. Why am I having dreams about math homework at 33 years old? Agreed. I also randomly have nightmares about school courses, and I have to wake up and remember that I don't go to school anymore. I'm done. I graduated. I've got a bachelor's of science. I got a BS in psychology, baby. <laughs> Which is true. Look in the census reports for places with the most single men. Nevada has 125 females for every 100 females. Ladies, if you want to meet a man, simply hang out in the shoe on head fan base. The ratio of men and women here is insane. We got all types of men here. We got the furries, we got the weebs, the libertarians, the conservatives, the liberals, the Marxists, the anarchists, the agitators, the looters, and people who in many instances have absolutely no clue what they are doing. He's standing in front of a glass pane because I kept seeing something really freaky happen behind him and it was just people walking by and it was a reflection and it scared me. Read the obituaries to find <laughs> eligible widowers. What the f <laughs> Show up to a funeral like, hey, sorry about your wife. What the 
just hold on, just uh, camp out in front of your local graveyards and cemeteries for reasons. That dick do though. So I'm actually oh, getting these do-do. from an article written in 2018 Jesus about Christ. the advice from the 1950s, and the journalist Bella Di Paolo is constantly writing her own commentary after like almost every single one of these things like look ready this one is like get a job in a medical dental or law school (laughs) and she writes become a doctor dentist or lawyer you are a badass so you don't need to marry one and the next advice from the 50s is become a nurse or airline stewardess they have very high marriage rates and she's like no become a person who thinks for herself They have very high rates of living the life that works for them. So become a doctor, dentist, or lawyer is good advice because strong independent woman jobs or something. But become a nurse or airline stewardess is bad advice because... Why exactly? Like, I'm sorry, is that not a little sexist? (laughs) Why is she looking down on being a nurse or an airline worker? The advice some women give to other women is, like, incredible. It's always just, like, constant affirmation. Constant... Um, how about we just pay those professions more? Specifically, the airline stewards and stewardesses and etc. I I forget what they're called now. Dang, there's a lot of bots today. They had to have changed something. Um, <clears throat> because like they don't freaking get um like the the airline people. They don't get paid until that I think they're taxiing. I know it is at least until the door is closed, like the airline door, but it might not be until they're in the air. And I'm like, that's bullshit. Like, they should get paid the entire time they're standing on the plane. <clears throat> are, are, are they in the plane? They should be getting paid because they're in the plane. Like, I have a lot of feelings about this. Like, I'm mad about it. <laughs> As someone who flies a decent amount, like, I'm mad about it. Get, like, pay them. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know. This is... I'm not saying, like, listen, if you just, if your goal, right, is like, I want to get married, that's fine. I think that's a fine goal to have. Like, sure, whatever. I think you need to maybe make sure that the person that you're marrying is someone that, like, works with you. Like, who, you know... How do I say this? Like, you have similar goals in mind and, you know, you connect with them on an emotional and mental level, like, etc. right? Like, they're your partner, right? You need to see them as a partner, okay? But I think it's fine to just be like, I really want to get married. And, like, you know, yeah, someone you love, too. But, like, you can... Yeah. But, like... <laughs> but, like... I think it's fine to have that goal. Like, I want a husband or I want a wife. That's fine. That's totally fine. That's that's legitimate. And, like, if your goal, right, is to go out to meet someone because you plan on dating with the eventuality of marriage, that's fine, too. You don't have to shit on people for thinking or wanting that. I think it's a fine thing to want. It's a fine goal to have. Like, it's fine. So I don't, like, people that are like, no, we're living single. You don't need another man. Like, okay, but you can want one and it's fine. Like, it's totally fine. You don't need to be mean to people about what they want in their lives. Jesus Christ. Coddling constantly. Like, you're doing nothing wrong, sweetie. And then male advice is like, your whole family's going to die if you don't go to the gym right now. (laughs) Be nice to everybody. They may have an eligible brother or son. You can only be <laughs> being nice to people in order to <clears throat> possibly get laid. Just be nice to everyone in general. Being nice is like the bare minimum. And what's sad is some people can't even do that. The bar is in hell. And yet. Get a government job overseas. Okay, Overseas? I'm sorry. No man is worth becoming a fed. Do not become a federal <laughs> agent for some dick. Be... F- Listen, that that's like, hey, be someone's green card. <laughs> like, get someone their green card. <laughs> I mean, that's that's, so, that's the way people do it, I guess. That happens in the military a lot. 
friendly to ugly men. Again, just be nice to everyone. Just be nice. In Holy shit. Lowering your standards if they're very high or unrealistic is a good thing, but don't lower them too much. If you're not attracted to someone, you should not be dating them. And don't get with the first person who is nice to you or shows you attention. I've seen that Ryan Reynolds movie, yeah. I don't remember what it's called, but I think that's the first Ryan Reynolds movie I remember watching. Just because you're lonely. The amount of men and women who like jump into relationships just because they're sad and lonely is way too high. It's almost always a recipe for disaster. Don't date someone who you think is ugly, but like, if he's not over six feet or doesn't have the perfect body, like, yeah, give him a chance. You're not perfect either, girl. But if you nope. think he's straight up ugly, different story. So yes, be nice to everyone, including ugly people, but don't date someone you think is ugly. Tell your friends that you are interested in getting married. Don't keep it a secret. Oh, we have another author's note. Tell your friends you have no interest whatsoever in getting married. Don't keep it a secret. Tell your mother. Tell all your other relatives. Tell all the random people you meet on the street. Declare it on social media. Is this lady okay? Like, it is totally okay if someone wants to get married. Calm down. Damn. Bro, this is why we are here now, by the way. People like this in 2018 telling young women to not even try and just be a strong, independent girl boss. These are the fat, ugly, drunk friend at the bar cock blocking you. Get lost at football games. <laughs> All right, if I'm <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Go to your local minor league hockey team game and just look confused. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, so I feel like most of the people I see at the minor league hockey games are like families. I'm gonna be honest, but like, I think there was like a bunch of guys sitting behind me at the last one because some of them were a little obnoxious. Um, <clears throat> but like, it was all a bunch of guys sitting together. So yeah, maybe go to your local hockey team. Go to your go to your local sport. And just look slightly confused and ask people around you questions. <laughs> I'm at a football game. I'm already lost. Don't take a job <laughs> Same, in a girl. Same. I don't know what's going on. But, you know, at the, at the local hockey... Immaculate vibes. I don't know what's going on and I'm slightly overwhelmed, but the popcorn's good and I'm having a great time. Company run largely by women. You would never hear this in <laughs> Why are we booing the refs? Just wait, girl. You'll see. <laughs> Modern dating <laughs> advice. This is like blasphemous. I like the author's note to run a company. <laughs> Get a company. job demonstrating fishing tackle in a sporting goods store. See? Bass Pro Shops. I'm telling you. The last <laughs> respectable institution in America. On a plane, a train, <laughs> or a bus, don't sit next to a woman. Sit next to a man. Author's note. Spread out all your stuff on the seat next to you and maybe you will get to have the whole row to yourself. The con- Can I just say... As someone again who flies, okay? A lot of times I end up in the middle seat. It's totally fine. If I'm sitting next to a woman, we are both just in our little slightly small, by slightly I mean extremely small, like little areas, okay? Anytime I sit next to a fucking man, okay? They think my leg room is their leg room. Like, I don't know this man. Why is your leg touching mine? Get the fuck away from me. Scoot your leg over. I paid for this leg room. Get away from me. Uh, it's so annoying. It is so annoying. And at this point, I just like shove my leg back and I'm just like, what? You want to fight me? I'll take it up the top. I don't care. Like, get your leg away from me. You want to play like footsie? I will kick you in your stupid, very shiny shoes. Okay. I don't wear my shiny nice shoes on this airplane. It's an airplane. Okay. I will scuff the shit out of yours. Get out of my space. Like, I hate that shit. Don't be that person on an airplane. Stay in your own little space. I know it's cramped. Stay in your own space. Contrast between the like wholesome goofy shit from the- I don't care what you got. I paid for my space. Keep your 
testicles and your legs in your space. <laughs> 1950s and this like bitter modern a social shit is so funny go to all reunions of your high school or college class there may be widowers there. widowers what is up with this like predatory ass <laughs> advice why widowers be a rebound for a man whose wife fucking died also, <laughs> yeah. I just realized i missed my 10 year high school reunion oh well i don't think anyone would recognize me anyway i, I didn't go to mine i live in the town i went to high school in i didn't go to mine I didn't care to go to mine. No one that still lives in this town went to it because I ran into a few of them at work once. And I, they asked me if I went. And I was like, N no, I live here still. And they were like, yeah, same. <laughs> I'd have to like wear an Invader Zim shirt and like trip pants. <laughs> and Don't trip be pants. afraid to associate with more attractive girls. They may have some leftovers. What are you doing here? What do you mean? I'm here for the scraps. Frank. Don't room with a girl who is a sad sack and let her pull you down to her level. I mean, this is pretty good, like, standard advice. Don't surround yourself with negative, miserable people. Like this journalist who will just try to drag you down to her level and attempt to sabotage your dating. Listen, don't surround your, yourself with people that aren't going to lift you up ever. Like, you need, like, a supportive friend group, just like you need a supportive partner. Okay, like, I'm not saying, like, only surround yourself with enablers, because, like, there's definitely been times when, like, you know, me, Ricey, or Emily have to talk to one another and be like, calm down, okay, it's not that big a deal, just take a step back, okay, it's okay. Um, but, like, you know, you should definitely, definitely get get friends or have friends that like support you and lift you up and like that kind of stuff and yeah friends do change over time but also your friendships change over like your friendship and your dynamic changes over time right so sometimes yeah you um aren't friends with that person forever and that's okay it's sad but like that's okay you know the people that you surround yourself with changes sometimes don't, don't, don't just be around people that just drag you down. That's not, that's not healthy. Aspirations. Learn to paint. Set up easel outside engineering school. <laughs> the author. Why engineering school specifically? I know why engineering school specifically, but like, learn to paint and just go, just, just hang out outside the engineering school with an easel and, you know, do like a little, do like a little kindergarten painting or something. <laughs> There's no, if you like to paint, set up your easel where nobody will bother you. Spread your stuff out so nobody will sit next to you. Set your easel up where nobody will bother you. They want you to die alone. <laughs> oh. Stumble when you walk into a room that he's in. Carry a hat box. What? Do we put a hat in the box? <laughs> What do we put in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> What's in the fucking box? Wear a band-aid. People always ask what happened. Uh, no, they won't. This was they absolutely don't. written in the 1950s where people used to talk to each other. Make a lot of money. I ask my friends what happens, but I'm not going to ask like a random ass stranger. That is not how you meet people. <laughs> like, I'd be like, oh, baby, what happened to your hand? Like, you know, but like, if it's just some random person, I don't care how long of a conversation I am having with this random person or what it's about. I'm not really going to ask them what happened. Like, that's weird like i don't know damn why didn't i think of that hold on i missed it what to talk to each other make a lot of money oh. damn <laughs> why didn't i think of that what great advice don't be poor dropping the <laughs> handkerchief still works god everything seems so wholesome and simple back then drop a handkerchief that's that's all it took hell like even my mom what she, what she did to get my dad's attention she just like rode her bike back and forth in front of his house like that's so adorable and wholesome. Want to know how me and my husband met? He trolled me on Twitter. <laughs> he was a hater on Twitter.com. How do I explain that to my future children? Stand in a corner and cry salt. <laughs> he was a Twitter troll. <laughs> My God. 
Chances are good that he'll come over to find out what's wrong. No, chances no, are they people won't. will whip out their cell phone and start filming you, and then you go... Or if they're polite, they'll just ignore the fact that you're in the corner crying, because that's what polite company does. They just pretend it's not happening. Viral. Crazy Karen cries in corner. Buy a convertible. Men like to ride in them. Learn how to bake tasty apple pies. Bring one into the office and let the eligible bachelors taste it. But only the eligible bachelor. Excuse me, uh, Sam, you have a wife. Step away from my apple pie, thank you. Honestly, this is pretty cute advice. I could see this maybe working. But, like, people are so weird about people, like, dating at work nowadays. That used to be, like, the number one place people would meet their spouse. And now it's, like, saying Susan looks nice today is sexual harassment. I like the author's note here. Learn how to bake tasty apple pies. Eat them. Eat them. Don't do anything for a man ever. Do everything for yourself. Wow, thanks, Jerno. You helped so much. Female loneliness cured. Laugh at his jokes. Laugh at his jokes <clears throat> if they are funny. Attractive people <laughs> make the terrible mistake of assuming that they are funny because simps and simpets will laugh at any joke they say, no matter if it's funny or not. You are not funny. People just want to f you. Know the difference. Accidentally no, I'm funny. have your purse fly open. Scattering its contents all over the screen. This would be my nightmare. I have so much random shit in my purse. Oh my god. Uh, I mean, I guess if you're going to have, you're going to do that quote unquote accidentally, like you've prepped, right? The amount of shit that's in your purse that you want to go flying everywhere. But like, oh my god. No. Absolutely not. Street. Oh no, I dropped my monster tampon <laughs> that I use for my magnum pussy. Where <laughs> Oh my god! Shit! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! My past pro lures and bait and tackle. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Hold on. <coughs> oh my god! I'm choking on spit. <coughs> oh my god. Oh, that, that was really funny. <coughs> oh my god. All right. <coughs> Where are heels most of the time? I heels most of the time. They're sexier. Journo note. <laughs> this is my favorite thing. Wear shoes with no heels. They are way more comfortable. Or don't wear shoes at all. No, wear shoes, please, God, fuck, wear shoes, okay? Things are disgusting, the ground is disgusting, okay? Wear shoes, especially out in public. <clears throat> the floors are gross, wear shoes. <coughs> <coughs> oh my God. Okay, terrible advice, wear shoes. You don't want to attract the foot guys, trust me. I know some of them are in this comment section right now <clears throat> as we speak. Horrifying. But yes, heels are attractive. Heels are pretty. They make your ass look good. They make your legs look good. I don't see. They make you taller. Suddenly I can see more things. <clears throat> How this is bad advice. Unless he happens <coughs> to be shorter than you are. Oof. The manlet's catching strays. Nah, wear them anyway. Even if he's shorter. It's okay. Now he's closer to your boobs. Wear the heels, it's fine. He's even back in 1958. Tell him he's handsome. Journo note, journo note, let's go! Talk to someone who is less needy and insecure. This bitch doesn't even want you complimenting men that you are interested in. Also ladies, pro tip, if you want him to just melt in your hands, don't say he's handsome, you can do that. But next time you're like walking with him or something, just be like, I feel very protected when I'm with you. He will be locked the fuck in. I don't see the fault in like complimenting a man or a- Also compliment men. Men get significantly less compliments. Compliment them. Why not? There's, there's no reason not to, just do it. <clears throat> woman that you are attracted to, that you are trying to date. Why does that make them insecure or needy? Take good care of your health. Men don't like girls who are ill. Get a sunburn. Go on a diet if you need to. You would never 
ever see this advice today. <clears throat> What's crazy is like in the early 2000s, very, very skinny was the look. Like I remember being a kid and seeing things about how like fat Britney Spears is when she looked like this. And now we've gone completely 180 where it's like, Health and fitness be damned, <coughs> Lizzo is a queen. Like, can we just be, can we just be normal about this? Why is there no middle ground between like, having an eating disorder and having an eating disorder? When you are with him, order <coughs> your steak <coughs> rare. Uh, just order your steak rare in general, it's tasty. I don't understand get the sunburn like what you gonna be like hey could you uh could you rub this aloe on my sunburn like well like that's kind of weird I don't know what the <laughs> like what what's the what's the goal there other than that's the only thing I can think of <clears throat> but like <laughs> but like you know and if you like if you like medium rare that's fine I like rare steaks, I'm gonna be honest. I tend to go rare, but like, you know, just eat your steak how you want to eat your steak. Maybe not well done, but like, <clears throat> you know, eat it however you want to eat uh, it. Absolutely not. I eat my steaks well done. Not even well done. I eat that shit. Why? Why? Also, it's not healthy to get sunburns. Like, don't don't try to get a sunburn. That's not healthy for your skin. <clears throat> Congratulations. Don't tell them about your allergies. Don't be too fussy. Don't whine. Girls who whine stay, stay on, on the vine. vine. Double date with a gay, happily married couple. Let him see what it's like. Double date with some lesbians <laughs> or some uh, two gay guys and a and a relationship. <clears throat> I'm kidding. I know they mean happy. Like, I, like it's the 1950s. They mean happy, but like, I think it's funny. <laughs> this has such a different meaning today. Yeah. Double date with a gay couple. <clears throat> Let him see what it's like. Be flexible. If he decides to skip the dance and go rowing on the lake, go. Even if you're wearing your best evening gown. Journal note, journal note. Tell him that's fine, but he <coughs> has to wear the evening gown and the heels. Hello? Force feminize your date. 129 ways to get a boy wife. Turn wolves into husband material by assuming they have honor. Okay, I'm so fucking what? brain broken. I'm such a degenerate <coughs> that like when I read this, I immediately thought of like Lagoshi the wolf from Beastars. Like, oh, he'd make a good husband. <laughs> Oh wait, how old is he? Hold on, oh god, oh god. Oh god, wait, he's 17! Wait, 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 wait! Resist the urge to make- I- I'm pretty sure they're all in high school, Shu. Like, that should have been your first red flag there. Come over. Before marriage, that is. So basically, trap him and- <sighs> Get in a relationship with him, marry him, and then try to change him. Don't fucking do that. If you're just like, mm, I can fix him. No, don't, don't, no. That's gross, don't. Obviously, he's not the one for you if you think you have to fix him in some way. So don't do that. <clears throat> then mold him into your perfect mate. Okay. I swear this advice is getting more insane the further we go. The lobotomy is kicking in. Remain innocent, but not ignorant. If he's- Okay, about the high school comment, <clears throat> she already said that she was 33. So like, I'm sorry, I have this whole thing with like age gaps where if the youngest person is 30, I don't give a shit what the age gap is, but like 33 and 18, I'm kind of like, as a child <laughs> like that's just me i'm probably gonna get a lot of hate in my comments about it but like i just i can't listen i talk to 20 year olds and i'm like i can't relate to any of your problems yeah it was it was a bit like she was it was a it was a bit it, it's fine <clears throat> but i'm just like i can't i can't relate to any of your problems you are children <laughs> well that's okay <clears throat> yeah, I mean, like, if you have, like, you know, waifus and stuff, get get you a girl that has husbandos. <laughs> He's rich. Oh. Tell him you like his money. 
The honesty <laughs> will intrigue him. Will it? Honestly, maybe. <laughs> will he doesn't it? mind marrying a gold digger, I guess. But if it's just like a dude looking for love and you're just like... Funny enough, um, there are websites to help you find a rich husband. I cannot tell you what they are. I do not know what they are, but they exist. Um, and some guys want that, I guess. And, you know, more power to them. There's a dynamic there that I cannot partake in or understand fully. But it is what it is. I like your money. <clears throat> it's over. You fucked it up. Never let him believe your career is more important to you than marriage. Clip and mail him a funny cartoon that means something to the both of you. Memes! <laughs> Send him memes! Literally the 1950s version of sending a meme. <laughs> Stop being a mama's girl. Don't let him think he'll have in-law trouble. Even if you know he will. Journal note. Guess who never has in-law trouble? People who stay single. But you- but you're- your parents don't harass you about when are you gonna tie the knot or get married or whatever. What other articles has <clears throat> this woman written? Let's let's look this up. The real sex lives of middle-aged single women. A world without marriage. The unsung joy of living alone. The thrill of going to holiday parties alone. Why being in a long-term relationship may make women more depressed. There are more single people than ever. That's not a bad thing. The profound rewards of staying single. I'm done. This is just sad. This is sadder than Anita Sarkeesian having a wedding-themed <laughs> birthday party and marrying herself. You're gonna look at this and tell me there's no female loneliness epidemic? Really? Point out to him that the death rate of single <clears throat> men is twice that of married men. Marry me or you'll die an early death. If your mother is fat, tell him you take after your father. If he's fat too, tell him you're adopted. Oh, what? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It was- it was a different time. <laughs> Stow away on a battleship. <laughs> Run to billboard. Um... Don't stow away on anything. Like... Don't... Don't stow away. Like, that's not- that is not gonna- go well for you in any what I don't think that went well for you in the 1950s what I don't, what uh how about you just spend your money and take a cruise like I'm not a cruise person but like <clears throat> you're trapped on a boat for a few days okay you could just meet people on the cruise I don't know how many single men go on cruises but like Hey, men looking for wives, maybe look into cruises. I I don't know, man. I that's it, Jesus Christ. And <clears throat> post your picture and telephone number on it. <laughs> oh, there was this lady that okay, there was a lady that did this. That like she rented a billboard and she put her name on there and she went and she got like model shots taken of herself and she made herself famous because she just rented, I think it was in LA or something. She just rented billboards. And put her name and picture on them, like these model shots. And she she caused herself to be famous. This was like before influencers or whatever. So like she became an influencer. No one knew who the hell she was. I don't remember I don't remember what it was, but because she was on all these like billboards and stuff, people she became famous. Um, I'd have to look up to see who it was, because I don't remember the, her name because it was definitely wasn't in my area. But like I mean you make yourself famous that way, apparently. <clears throat> oh my god. Do not do this. Sink at a fashionable beach at high noon. Sink? Like, pretend you're drowning? Listen, people drown because other people don't realize what's happening. When you're drowning, you're not doing, like, the flail thing that you see in, like, movies and shit. You just kind of go under and you don't come back up and a lot of people don't notice, okay? That's how drownings happen at, like popular areas like people don't notice that you're drowning because it's quiet okay don't fucking do this no don't do this make and sell toupees <clears throat> bald men are easy catches what don't marry fuck? him if he has too many loose buttons the end what does that mean
All I can think of is like, hey, if you don't want to be spending all your time sewing his buttons back on, what the fuck does that mean? Don't marry him is he, if he has too many loose buttons. Obviously, he doesn't have someone sewing his buttons back on for him. Like, what does that mean? So, ladies, what have we learned? Follow around your hot friends for scraps, get a sunburn, and carry around a hatbox. Wow, this will surely solve female loneliness. No, but for real, some of this advice was actually much better than like any modern dating advice I've seen. Like at least some of this advice was go the f outside and talk to men, as opposed to don't talk to him, like let him chase you, don't even look him in the eyes. Also men, I'm curious, which one of these would actually work on you? Would you go over to a woman that was crying and ask what's wrong? Does the hat box do it for you? I'm curious. By the way, the link to the whole list will be in the description. I would love to see your own takes on this list, like your reactions, your own video responses to this list. I've been seeing a lot of VTubers responding to my <laughs> videos lately. <coughs> Wild. Weird. Uh, I don't know what that's about. So if one of you anime freaks are reacting to this right now, I see you. So Hi. that was that video. I, hope I see you too. You're on my TV. Hello. Hope you enjoyed it. If not, I've stolen like what, 20 something minutes from your life? that you will never get back. But if you Correct. did like it, please consider donating to my Patreon, link down below. We're gonna start doing movie nights together and I would love to see you there. And I will see you next time with a new video. Bye. Bye. She's on to me. <laughs> We've been noticed. Cheese it. <laughs>